This very, very cool little lick is kind of a development, you could call it, over a minor arpeggio. It just keeps developing in the, uh, the sound of the arpeggio, adding more notes in the fretting hand, the, you know, the sweep picking just keeps developing and then adding tapping and slides and all sorts of funny stuff. Um, I want to show you. Uh, it's also got this, uh, this pentatonic kind of sound. Um, in the last part. Very pentatonic type sound. Okay, so this lick is, as I said in the introduction, kind of a developing thing. Um, I got this minor tr uh, triad, but then I add the seventh. And, uh, you know, I just add the root note again in the minor third. So it's a very simple little sweep picking, tapping uh, thing here. But but what's really challenging about this one is it's so short. And this is what really is one of the challenging aspects to playing this technique is to be swift and quick between the techniques. So, so this is really why it will benefit from tra uh, training. <laughs> Practicing with a metronome. I'm a big believer in metronome playing. I just Always worked for me. I know there's a lot of who don't use it and uh, That's fine, but I just think it's such so easy to monitor your progress and playing in general when you use it So this is the first part of it and then what I do is I this is really also where you'll benefit from practicing the, the idea of playing on the fretboard. So I start here on the 13th fret with my pinky here um, on the A string and I play a downstroke and then a downstroke here on the D string using my long finger on the 11th fret going into the G string 10th fret with my index finger and from here I do a hammer on with my pinky to the 13th fret on the G string and from here this is where I kind of go into the tapping the technique gives me a little bit of extra it gives me a little bit of extra time that hammer on here to kind of get in, get the tapping started. So I tap using my long finger and little finger for this one, 15th fret and uh, what's that 18th fret with the pinky. Tapping here and then pulling off from 18 back again to 15. Pulling off into the fretting hand again where the pinky is pulling off from 13 into the 10th index finger here on the 10th. Then I get my pick back into the to place and I play an upstroke here uh, using long finger on 11 on the D string and then again uh, 13 with the little finger on the A string. This is this, so this will be upstrokes and I play down again back on the <clears throat> yeah 11th fret and this is really where this is also one of the parts you need to practice. This is, what took some extra time for me because these are techniques that I've been using for many years, but combining these sometimes takes some time um, because what I do now is I open up my hand and I shift my fingering around. This is uh, kind of a subtle little thing. So once I'm back here under my pinky, this is fine, but then I'm going back to 11, but this time I'm using my ring finger. Uh, my ring finger is now um, on 11 on the D string and my long finger will then, I continue the sweep picking technique. Uh, I played an upstroke on the A string and then a down here on the D string and then a down on the G string. 10th fret now, and you, now I'm using the long finger instead of the index finger and then I continue into the B string playing the seventh, making it a minor seven. Um, on the B string this time I'm playing the note here on the B string instead, uh, the G sharp. Uh, so my index finger is now on 9 on the B string and from here I play a 3 up a string pattern kind of a pentatonic style sound so I hammer onto my long finger to uh, the root note again uh, the B flat the long finger is on 11 and my little finger is hammering on to 14 so and I have this pattern from here I do a tapping thing I tap now with three notes, uh, three fingers, long finger, ring, and little finger. So I still keep the pick here between, which I do for this complete lick actually, as opposed to the previous one. So I tap with my long finger on 16, ring finger on 18, and little finger on 21st. 
And from here I pull off again, back again, from 21st to uh, 18 and to 16. Long ring and little finger. And from here I pull off with the pinky and the fretting hand from 14 uh, to uh, 11 and to 9. And so I got quite some time to, to get the pick back again here. Oh, well, not that I slide it back and forth as before, but now it's in place so that I can play, play an upstroke here on the G string 10th fret with a long finger and ring finger 11 on D. Upstroke again here on the A string using the little finger uh, 13th fret and then I play back again with the ring finger 11 on the D string, 10 on the G and then 9 on the B using the index finger. Now we do something different because from here I slide my index finger finger up to 11, from 9 to 11, hammering onto my pinky to uh, 14, and then I continue into the high E string, playing with my index finger 13, and hammering on my little finger to 16. Getting very much a pentatonic kind of sound, so hammering on F to 16, and then I tap 18, and little finger is tapping um, 21st. Pulling off from 21st to 18, and pulling off uh, into the fretting hand, pulling off from 16 with the little finger to index finger on 13. And then I hammer on actually, and you can also use the pick, but you can also just do a hammer on. That's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, not using the pick for this one, this little part here. So I hammer on or use the pick on 14 with the little finger on uh, 14 on the B string, pulling off to 11 using the index finger here and the sliding of the index finger from 11 back to 9 and then my pick should be ready because now I'm going in with that upstroke using the long finger on the G string and then in yet another upstroke here using the uh, ring finger on 11 and then continuing into the little finger on 13. So the whole thing uh, maybe you've noticed, I don't know, but you can do a variety of how many times you want to do each part. Um, sometimes it feels a little easier doing twice or whatever you want on each. Uh, so for the first one, for example, you know, I'll do... Shifting into the next part. And then playing the final one. Or let's get a little bit of a closer look on the pick 